Carla, I want to start with you. So how's your relationship with your mom? My relationship with my mom has been great as a child, but recently growing older as an adult, um, again, there's been some overstepping of boundaries. One of the main reasons that we get into arguments is regarding like my body image, my weight, or my relationship. Um, things that really don't, you know, as I get older, have more to do with me and not with my mom. What has she said about your weight? I don't, I don't want to hear all the time that you think that I'm getting smaller, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Mm -hmm. My weight is my issue. I've worked a long time on my body image, and I feel confident in myself, and I love myself. So. Beautiful. I love hearing that. Um, yeah. What happened in Cancun last year? Um, this was my mom's first time out of the country, her first time on a plane, um, and we were going to a family member's wedding. Mm -hmm. It was a really big thing for us. I bought a bathing suit that like, I felt really good in. It was my first time going out of the country. I wanted it to look good, and it's just constant ridicule. She didn't like what I had on. She didn't like, she just didn't like it. Got it. Yeah. To be that vulnerable and to be in a moment where you're excited about something and to have someone you love and respect say things to you that can tear you down, I'm very sorry. Thank I really you. am, I really am. Uh, Amaya, you feel like your mom is interfering with your relationship? Yes. How? I am a lesbian, mm -hmm. and I propose to my fiance. Hey, family. Hey. <laughs> hey. I proposed to my fiance two years ago. Mm -hmm. The first ridicule I got from her was, you got on your knee, so you must be the man in a relationship. Oh. And I was like, hold on, honey. I am no man yeah. in nobody's relationship. We are two fins, and we're proud of that. Yeah. Um, Amaya, what are some of the hurtful things your mom tells you? And tell me about her temper as well. Her temper is, she's very, if she doesn't like it, then she's gonna tell you. She doesn't like it, but it can be yelling. Like, I wanna have a conversation with you without you yelling at me or telling me. Um, it's like the if you If you were things. successful in school or you have graduated or uh, are done with college already, then you would you have this type of person in your life, or yeah. your fiance wouldn't be on the verge of leaving you, and we're not on we're not to that point yet. Yeah, we're not we haven't even discussed leaving each other yet because she's successful and I'm not, and I don't feel like I'm unsuccessful. I think I'm growing steps to get there, mm -hmm. but everybody's on a different timeline. But your mom points those things out. Mm hmm. Got yeah. Like, some if I don't ask you for advice, don't give it. But when I ask you for advice, give it to me. I hear it. Listen, it's something that I practice. In my personal life, with my kids, with my partner, on this stage, I'm always like, so what do you need my help with? Do you want my advice? Because the thing we have to learn is just because you got it in your head doesn't mean you need to come out your mouth. Yes. And that's an important thing. None of us have finished college. So she sees us going down that path. Yeah. And instead of being constructive with her criticism, she's angry with her criticism. She's she's not OK with It's almost like it's saying. coming out of a place of fear. Fear, yes. It's, uh -huh. Uh, you better finish school or she's going to leave you. Yeah. Or, or as far as our relationships, what are you doing? Like, what, do, what does this person want you for? Like, what, what in what the relationship? What are they really seeing you to what be are they with seeing? you? Like, why are they with you? Ooh. Did she say that to you about your weight as well? It's more so. Do you think so, it's coming from a place of fear? It's more so of a place of fear. Like, when she thinks someone is talking about me, when she thinks someone is laughing at me in public, it comes, like, it, it boils up in her this anger, and she, she's a mother bear wanting to protect her child. Mm -hmm. When I didn't ask for protection, I don't care what anybody has to say about mm -hmm. me. I love me. Amen. Nobody's gonna come to me and make me feel the way they want me to feel. Okay. So I'm here with Carla and Amaya, who say they need their mom to change her attitude before it destroys their family. Before we bring out mom, let's hear what she had to say. Karamo, my daughters are overly dramatic, and I don't understand why they think we're that dysfunctional, that they needed to write into your show. My kids gang up on me all the time because they're mad at the way I raised them. Y'all asses are grown, and you're on your own. I'm trying to take care of myself now, but to some degree, y'all are still around and I'm still raising y'all. I feel like my daughter disagrees or hates when I tell her she needs to lose weight or be more healthier. 
and my other daughter needs to find out who she is before she starts jumping into new relationships. She needs to be her own leader instead of being a follower. I have told my kids exactly how I feel from day one because I love them. And as their mother, I feel like that's the way it should be. All right, everyone, please welcome Dianca to the show. I love you. Like, I know at the end of the day, when the dust settles, I'm going to be there. I've told you several times, look, I don't care if it's a good compliment, uh, a bad one. I don't, that I don't I wanna hear it. That I honestly did not know. I, I was telling you that I am proud of you if that was the, but why if that is that was the, the journey that you is, were on. Why is that the stepping stone for you to be proud of me? Why is that the stepping stone for you to be proud of me? I don't I hear about healthy. healthy. In the healthcare you don't see me on I've a CPAP kids. machine. You don't see me walking, waddling it around. It didn't start out like that. It didn't. But and I got that together. Have to go to the I doctors. have been, I have been well, healthy and well for years now. But still, that is the first thing on your mind. I, and it doesn't I, come is, it, is, it, is, is that the first thing on my mind, or is yes. it your health and me my loving you? My health is you? fine. So you're saying it as a healthy situation, but like the target situation. That wasn't you worrying about her being healthy. You, you thought somebody, somebody else talking, about, talking about, me. about her. Okay, talk, yes, because you, I've you, seen you that. I, so, I've did seen, they come I've up seen, to me? Did they come up to me and say anything? I don't care what, whether anything. they have or not. I'm letting them know. See, you don't need to let them know. You There's nothing temper? to let them know. No, I know I do. You have a temper. So and an attitude, that. too. And yeah. attitude, that. Yeah. And when does that come out? Um, well, I, it's, with them, I, I mean. I feel like when she don't want to, when she don't want you to say nothing, she don't want to hear if no, she don't want to hear it, she, with if them, she don't like it, she don't want to hear it. out because, like now, you know, this is a surprise to me, you know, for me to be here with my daughters and, and, and find out how you really feel about me. You Mama, know, what do you mean to find me? out? These are conversations we have had time and time before. Okay. But they turn into arguments, so I guess nobody's And you don't listening. listen. Nobody's listening. listening. But then y'all get, get a place where you get angry. Because we don't, we don't get together. a word in. We can't get a word in because if it's not your way, you don't want to hear it. Sorry, if I see it, I'm gonna call it, mm -hmm. and that because I know at the I know, I know in at my heart do we who's get, going to be there. At what point do we get if, to be adults? Because you, if you were not around every day, no. If you were not here to protect us, we are gonna have to figure it out on our own. I'm not trying we're to protect to you, fend. but if, if yes, you, yes are. you are, and yes, you I, are. And you we're not saying it's a bad thing. We're saying it's because we know, I know, from what you told me the love and the care that you did not really receive growing up. And instead of sugarcoating it, no, you didn't receive it. You want to give it to us, but you're too overstepping with it. You are you are too mother bearish with At it. Okay, and so our, when things lives, go down wrong. and it happens and it's, and it's hurtful. And then we come then to they, we come okay, That's what I'm saying, but when I've already told you this, but you and, don't, and, but, but and I've done it to out. you a couple let of times, let us figure, let figure it out. out. So you get hurt again, you put me in the same predicament Why are you again. afraid to let your kids figure it out? Because when they get hurt, they come to me, I'm hurting. That's just life. So definitely. But that's just life. Do you feel like they're capable of making their own choices? I, I do. I, I mean, I'm very proud of them. They're independent. She lives alone. She has a job. She works. She's taking... I love the fact that she is a great mother to Ryan. I love that. You know, I mean... But it's just like, I know what's out there, too. And I'm sorry. It's hard to lay those sw those swords down when I know potentially someone else may have the upper hand and hurt my child. I, I don't know how to separate from that. Yeah. I want to hear what my audience has to say about this, so I want to take it to the comments. Does anybody empathize with what the mother is going through? Yeah, yeah you can? Come here. Let me talk to you. I have a uh, newly over 18 uh, son, and he's my only child, and I'm a very hands-on mom, so I understand mom, and he's always by my side, right? But you have to separate. You have to give a little bit of room. And like she said, you have to let them fall on their face yeah. so they could come into their own beings. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? You can't be there to save them mm -hmm. every single time. They'll never be an individual that way. And you don't want to be carrying them at 40. Mm. That's a good point. Thank you so much. What is, Dianca, what is your fear when it comes to your daughters and them, and them failing? Um. Her, it's because of my granddaughter. You know, I don't want... I want my granddaughter's life to be better than mine, better than hers, 
better than ours. So you, know, you want to make that, sure your granddaughter is in a stable home. Yeah. And what's your fear for your other daughter? This is this is my middle child, and they never say anything. For me to hear her, I hear her today. You I have today. no other choice but to hear what she's well, saying to me. That's a good place. The fact that you're saying you hear them, I think we can go from there. I think it's important as young women that I know you do respect your mother, but I think the expectation of how fast she has to grow, you have to manage that expectation. Yeah. And understand that she is trying to grow at a pace that's going to be able to support you. And this is not to take away and say that she's wrong for the things she said. I'm gonna get to you, mom, I love you. But I have to acknowledge that. Yeah. You have to be able to see that. Can you see what I'm saying here? Yeah. I, I think it would be an important start if you can say, mom, we love you, and we're gonna manage our expectations of how fast you're growing. Mama, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> and we are gonna manage our expectations. You oh, are no, growing. Thanks. You're growing. And I know you've been a protector. I know you have tried to do everything you could possibly do in your mind, and you're trying. I'm looking at it, I'm watching you. Every time you hear something, you're like, damn, I didn't know. Okay, damn, I didn't know. So I wanna acknowledge that in you. But I also have to say, there is some things that you have said that are damaging and you have to be aware of that. I have been writing down some of the things, you've called them dramatic. You've called, you've said, um, you've told them that the people in their lives are gonna disappear. You've told them to be healthier. These things, even though you think are protecting them, as a third party sitting here and just meeting you, were jarring to me. It was hurtful for me to hear you say that to your daughters when I know your daughters love you so much. Okay. You have raised some really great women. Thank you. Yeah, give it up. Thank you. you don't have to be so fearful about them going down the path or that road you already been down. And I think you have to change yourself from responding to them in this place of fear and responding to them to a new place of hope because what your daughters are telling you is that they need boundaries. Okay. And it's really boundaries in your communication. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I want us to be better. I'm going to do better. You have given us everything, and I know that. But when I set a boundary, I just mean, as an adult, this is where I want to draw the line because I want to grow from here. You hear that? Okay. You got to allow them to invite you in. And so you have to ask yourself, and this is going to be your challenge, when you're talking to your daughters and you're about to say something, first, it's not coming from a place of fear. Think about it from a place of hope. And then secondly, say, did they invite me into this conversation? Did they invite me into talking about her weight journey? Did she invite me into talking about her relationship or where her kid is. And if the answer to you is no, if you didn't get a clear invite from them, then you just say, okay, I'm just here, I'm just here to listen. And I know it's hard because I do the same thing. We can give it up. I do the same thing with my sons. And I, it's something that I'm actually actively practicing right now where I'm like, you know what, y'all 20, you 26 years old. I, I really wanna tell you what to do because I already done seen you got this little girl right now and I'm, a, I'm going to my own personal business right now, but I watch it. And, I, and sometimes I sit there and he calls and I say, you know what, you didn't invite me in. You didn't invite me in. So that means there's a boundary right there. And so I say, all right, just talk and I'm gonna listen. And then sometimes I'll do this. I'm like, you ready to invite me in? You want my opinion? <laughs> and sometimes he'll be like, yes, dad, I do. And the more that I've let him invite me in, the better our communication's actually gotten. Okay. It's actually gotten a lot better and I'm encouraging you to do the same. Can you make that commitment and say, I'm gonna hold this fear-based language that I use when I'm talking to y'all and I'm gonna wait for y'all to invite me in. I'm gonna hold this fear-based um, words yeah, good job. that I hope that I give to y'all and I'm gonna wait for you to invite me in. Can, do y'all receive that? Yes. yes. Do y'all believe y'all mom? Yes. You do? Yeah. Good. Y'all are a great family. Y'all are a great family here. Good luck, all right? Thank you so I respect much. you all very much. I respect all of you. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you.